North Abaco, the craziest thing is that have you heard anything from the Progressive Liberal Party? All the stuff that Kai is doing to try to have this government to be held accountable. Have you heard anything from the Progressive Liberal Party? Brave Davis, Fred Mitchell, Chester Cooper, the whole lot. They want to regain power. It seems as if where I stand here in Abaco, that the Progressive Liberal Party just want to make themselves the government and come out and, and, and finish rob the people of Abaco because of Kai Mills saying for all this month, over two years, where is the what money? Where is the money for the 47 homes that Baker's Bay membership give? You think any decent, respectable opposition that want to regain power ought not have opened their mouths by now? They got a suck in their mouth. I haven't heard anything from J.W. Pinder uh, from Hope Town. I haven't heard anything from the Rasta man, Kirk Connors down in uh, North Abaco. Last time I heard from him, he tried to follow suit uh, like Kai was up here cleaning up. He moved three cars and two bags of garbage for a photo op. Made sure that his hair was all nice and, and roster up. And that was it. He's disappeared into the abyss. But this is big business here. It's not about Kai. It's about the people. That's why I'm speaking. I could basically go to bed and be okay. But I cannot see the blading, the blatant robbery of a people and the opposition, the progressive liberal party that's supposed to keep the feet to the fire because they like fire, they have FMs, they like heat. But where is the opposition? They too busy getting through the whole house assembly. Everybody say Kai ain't gonna spend much time there. Well, brave those ain't spend much time. And when they spend the time there, you're trying to figure it. Is Brave speaking English or what he's speaking? He did say he's uh, Haitian. He's speaking Creole. Because we don't know what the hell Brave is saying. Half the time we're like, is this guy a lawyer? A QC? Well, speak, brother. He would be the first prime minister that can't speak to Bohemians fluently. He's speaking like he's just, just learning to speak English. You imagine listening to Brave for five years? Like, what, what did he say? What? <laughs> Boy, we're in trouble. But back to my point. Money's for 47 homes. Nothing from the Progressive Liberal Party. The VAT money that the FNM killed the PLP on, PLP can reverse the the table on them and say the same thing. Where's the VAT money? Have they table? I mean, what, what the hell is the Progressive Liberal Party those doing in, in the House Assembly? Have they said yet, Brave Davis, Chester would got all this technology in the brain about finance? Have you asked them yet, Progressive Liberal Party? The same question that they asked you up the election. Where is the VAT money? How much have you collected? What have you done with it? I'm asking these questions here. You're right, you right next door to them. And you're all forgetting the, uh, why you got beat, how you got beat. The VAT money, man. But you got more than the VAT money. The Baker's Bay money. To rebuild 47 homes. Neither one has been started yet. Where is that money? Help Kai, man. And OPLP. But help the help Abaco. How you expect to get elected? You didn't come to the funeral. Not a progressive liberal party uh, uh, was represented at the funeral. You you sure you all want somebody in Abaco to vote PLP? Are we that crazy? That's why we say PLP and FNM are all the same. There's so much data. There's so much 
information. There's so much misinformation that Abaco isn't getting. These guys are in the Honorable House and Kai Mills is doing more than them. Somebody would ask us something crazy. What would I do as an independent? Well, ask brave those. What are they doing? As leader of the Progressive Liberal Party, what issue is he addressing on behalf of Bohemian people and Avoco people? Have you asked yet what Kai is asking? You know how much money? Over 30 some million dollars that were given to construct, rebuild 47 homes? That is 47 people and some PLP included in that too, you know, some, some starboard counselors that ought to be counted in that 47 homes. But Brave has forgotten y'all. But it'll come down there in the Brave of Yellow and say, whoa, PLP. But where is he now in the Honorable House speaking for the people of North Abaco that went through a storm and still going through a storm called the FNM government. Neither member of Abaco, member of Parliament for, for Abaco, James Albee or Darren Henfield, has not addressed the issues that's concerned to us. Do they know the issues? They're in the Honorable House, and all they could do is slam their hand on that desk like a bunch of baby chimpanzees when they hear that America has given them some free vaccine that's going to alter your DNA forever. And they're so pleased with that. But where is the monies for the homes? I could talk about this all day. And it's sickening to see that a people that was elected to serve a people is not speaking for the people. This is why you have a member of parliament. Ask yourself, Nord Abaco, do you think after what we have been through, stuck in the government complex, stuck in the clinic, stuck at the airport, sleeping at the airport for days, came back, had to sleep in tents, still in moldy domes, still in trailers, and nobody has addressed this issue? Do you think Kai Mills would have been absolutely silent? Do you think Kai Mills would have sat at the table and agreed for $35 million to be built on a bridge in Elutra when the economy of Abaco was sometimes the second money maker for the government and the government haven't tried to put the infrastructure back together in Abaco Elutra never had no storm with 35 million we have sent over 160 million one year into the treasury and we can't get a 60 million back to rebuild and nobody thinks this is an emergency. The opposition is not speaking. Our members of parliaments are absent. What if Kai Mills was a minister sitting at the table of decision making after what Abaco has gone through? And Darren Hensfield ought to be ashamed because he happened to have been here during the hurricane. He had visited the government complex. He was there during the hurricane. He went to the uh, hospital and saw the hundreds of people stuck there. But the first thing he did was catch a free ride on the U.S. helicopter back to Nassau and we didn't see or hear nothing for him until months and months after while we're on the airport. We are Nassau calling for him to try to see if he could get some room, some free room. Nothing. Thank God for some business people in Nassau that put us up and help us out. I thank God for the Fox family that saved my life, that I could have some sanity. 
and rest my brain to come back to some normalcy. But I'm talking and speaking about the people that's still in a car sleeping. I'm talking about the people that still are with the relatives that are still in the dome, that are still in the, the trailers. Where's the opposition? Have they been here to see what's going on? Are they agreeing that they should spend $35 million on a bridge in Elutra while people are still homeless, don't have a roof, don't have a shelter, don't have a hope? That is why the opposition is there. This is what Kai is speaking about. You guys are in the Honorable House and talking about garbage. We have an island and a people to save. We have an economy that ought to be uprising back to normalcy. Ask yourself, Abaconians, what if all these different agencies wouldn't have come to our rescue? This is the first time in history that we had so much NGOs helping. What if this weightless, absolutely non-caring FNM government would have met them halfway? We'd have been way back to some normalcy. What if? Kai Mills was your member of parliament. Change ain't coming. Change is here.